there just weren't opportunities um, to play with girls, whether it be on teams or, you know, my friends always did other things. And um, and for me, I, I could call, you know, some, some of the, the local guys at, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and say, hey, you guys want to play? And they'd be there in 30 minutes. Stephanie attended Seeger High School, where she dominated from the first time she stepped on the floor. Well, some thought she was the best high school player in the country. She's a high school All-American and the high school player of the year nationally. She scored 2,869 points in high school. There's only a few guys in the state of Indiana's history who scored more than that in boys basketball. She did it in the girls game. After high school, Stephanie chose to play her college basketball close to home at Purdue. That was a chaotic, tumultuous four years in college. I played for three coaches in four years. You know, after Lynn Dunn's contract didn't get renewed, we lost five players to transfer. Um, we lost more to graduation. We came back with three returning scholarship players. We brought in two other scholarship players, and the rest were walk-ons the year that Nell Fortner came in. And, and, and that year was the year that Yukari Figs and I said, we're going to take ownership of where we want this program to go, the type of people that we want to bring into this program. So we'd been decimated, and then two years later, we win a national championship. After that national championship season, Stephanie was named the National Player of the Year and was then drafted into the WNBA by the Charlotte Sting. But after just one year, she came home after being traded to the expansion Indiana Fever. If there was one player that you needed as the face of the franchise for the Indiana Fever, it was Stephanie White because she epitomized what Indiana basketball is all about. You think about kids growing up with uh, backboards and hoops on barns and garages. I mean, that's Stephanie White. Everybody grew up loving the game of basketball. So there's no question if you needed one person to put people in the seats, it was Stephanie White. Stephanie had a solid four-year career with the Fever before getting into her current profession of coaching the game she loves. You know, Stephanie White is really the female version of Damon Bailey, you know, from a small town, uh, led the state in scoring, led her team to championships, and, not, you know, not in high school, but at Purdue. So that's the kind of player she was. You know, she's like a Scott Skiles, a Johnny Wooden, a Rick Mount, you know, somebody from smaller towns who's having huge success. And she didn't get the notoriety that a boy would have gotten, uh, but she got a huge amount. And she really was a trailblazer for the girls.